All right, so I went and bought one of these 200 amp hour uh, ampere time lithium iron phosphate batteries. And I've got it hooked up in the camper here uh, in such a way where I've got, um, oh, sorry, lights are off because I'm about to do my test, but I've got a changeover switch from shore power um, to battery 12 volt only to an inverter that's uh, wired in this little ottoman here. But today what I'm going to do is just have this, um, this load tester run until the battery hits low voltage cutoff and see what I get for capacity because I've had this thing about a month with some light use. Um, I've got 550 watt solar panels, well two at 275 up on the roof and um, I haven't tested the capacity yet. So I get it set at 20 amp draw, current voltage at 13.5. Um, this is a holdover from another test, but the cutoff voltage is lower than the BMS cutoff voltage. So I'm going to run this. <clears throat> if it hits full capacity, it should be about um, 10 hours. And we'll come back and look at our amp hours and, uh, and our total watts and see what we got out of it. So here we go. Hundred and eighty five watt overload. And so the problem I hit is that apparently this unit it lets you program up to twenty amps, but it has uh, a hundred and eighty five watt limit, which is only what fifteen fifteen amps. So let's go. up to let's see if it'll do 15 so I'm gonna go to I'll just run it at uh, 10 it'll take a while uh, but I'll come back and see where we are tomorrow So the other part I'll mention here while this test is starting up uh, is that um, I've got my clamp meter here uh, set for DC current and this little AliExpress tester is um, seems to be spot on as far as what it's drawing and what it's reporting to me that it's drawing. So I've got 10 amps um, on the readout from my clamp meter, uh, 10 amps in that green current measure for actual output, and at the top uh, a 10 amp draw is what my setting was. So this little unit that creates heat and then uses the fan to cool off the heat sink um, seems to be working pretty well. It was, I don't know, 20 bucks, pure chinesium. Um, and then the other thing, this is my solar in from my uh, Victron charge controller. This is my battery out to the trailer and the background draw from the battery is about one amp. Um, almost exactly and that's because I have the fridge running on propane but I also have a propane and um, carbon monoxide detector um, just a little bit of background draw so I'll add that consumption to the total when I come back uh, tomorrow morning all right it's the next morning and we have finished our drawdown to low voltage disconnect and we ended up with 189 amp hours which is pretty freaking awesome because <clears throat> as I showed you we had about one amp draw uh, just right into the 12 volt system and it ran for um, 19 hours 
so that's an additional 19 amp hours so if that's all correct that means we ended up with 208 amp hours out of this ampere time battery that's rated for 200 amp hours um i am super glad i did this test and i'm super impressed because i got this battery it was on sale at the time got it for uh 750 bucks for a real 200 amp hours um and you can tell it went through a low voltage disconnect because it's reading voltage of zero right now um that's awesome so i'm going to turn the victron uh solar charger back on got a super bright clear sunny day here in western montana and i'm also gonna um i should be able to recharge the battery today and um i will take a screen grab of the uh solar charge readout when it's um it's gone into float mode so good news